Welcome to Hourglass Workshops and Conversations with Nancy and Cheryl. I'm Nancy Burns. I'm an acupuncturist in San Jose, California. And I'm Cheryl Seavey. I'm a writer and blogger in Los Gatos, California. Today, we've been having a conversation, or we are planning a conversation today to talk about friendships. And Nancy, you want to introduce the situation? Yeah, we were just chatting about, can you make good friends at this age? You yeah. know, when we were young, we had friends come and go in our lives. And we found that one or two special friends that have kind of walked through all the stages of our lives. And what I'm hearing now from so many of my friends is, you know, uh, they've retired or are retiring. They're looking at moving away, moving into um, senior communities or just moving away uh, closer to family or downsizing. And my question is, can you make these kind of friendships where you start over again? No. Um, what do you think? I, yeah, I think so too. And, you know, and, and I've got the, you know, the, the opposite situation where I'm staying where I am because my kids are nearby and family and, um, and I've got friends that are moving away mm -hmm. and it really makes it, you know, a challenge to kind of, to kind of backfill is not quite the right word, but to re-enrich um, friendships. And, and find new ones. And find new ones, really yeah. I mean, I, we can have lots of acquaintances. You and I both have a lot of acquaintances, right. a lot of people that I call friends. Mm -hmm. And then there are the, the, and we've talked about this before, yeah. our s sphere of influence. And then we have that very core group of very close friends who know us, who you can call and say, I need help with something, Yeah, you know, um, and I think when when anybody stops to think about that, that number is definitely fewer than all of our acquaintances. Are. Of course, yes. You know, people that you meet for lunch, people that you play tennis with, you know, play bridge with. Pickleball, whatever. right, whatever. Yeah, pickleball, yeah. golf, yeah. Um, but those friends that you actually talk with, Mm -hmm. have conversation with yes deep conversation personal conversations I don't know I don't know if you can really at this point in life find those people well I, I think that you um you know the the deep con relationships and friendships that have been 30 40 50 plus years in the making mm -hmm. um we will not have those again you know, it's it's like a comfortable pair of shoes that you've worn for 10 years. You know, you're not going to get that same level of comfort, but you may find an equally good fitting friend or good fitting shoe, if you will. And yeah. um, that 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 feels good and that that, you know, that's mutually rewarding for both mm -hmm. people. And um, but you won't have the history. You won't have right. the the kids' graduations, the marriages, the divorces, the the funerals, the the they didn't they won't have known your parents, yeah. and um you know and you won't have that, but you'll have something different. So I think part of it's just managing expectations, right? You well, know, and you know, okay. So um, I guess the next question is, what, what are you willing to do to have those friends? Are you mm -hmm. willing to put the effort into it? Um, I'll give you an example. In my business, because I work intimately with people, I have made some very close friendships mm -hmm. with my patients, you know. Um, and part of it is because when they come and when they first started coming, they were talking um, to me about very intimate issues. Right. And it was a safe place to do so. And it just evolved like a good friendship does mm -hmm. into a friendship. Now, subsequently, after the 20 years that I've been in this business, I moved from San Jose to Sacramento to help my mom. But I'm still keeping my business in San Jose and I drive back and forth and people mm -hmm. say, I don't know how you do that. Well, how and why I do that is for the very 
reason that we're talking about is the right. friendships. Yeah. If I were to say I'm moving to Sacramento and give up my business that keeps me connected with these people, those friendships would all go by the wayside mm -hmm. because we all know that distance is not a kind thing to close friendships. Right. You can that is chat true. on the phone, but it is not the same thing. Right. But you bring it, but you're bringing up a couple of points though. One is you're willing to make the effort to, to, you know, to continue with your business down here. And I think that's right. a key component in any friendship. And secondly, you're willing, you know, there's face-to-face -face time right. with these people. And it's not only in your office, you get together with these friends socially right. as well, right, which makes it a mutual friendship. Friends. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. But that there is my point. What are you willing to do to mm -hmm. maintain or to create a new friendship? Are you yeah. willing to put yourself out there, stretch a little bit and work on a friendship? Mm -hmm. And I've had a lot of people, a number of people I know have moved into senior communities, mm -hmm. you know, uh, either with their husband or their, they've lost their husband or they're divorced or one thing or another. So they're starting all over again. Right. And the whole draw of those communities is all the wonderful things you can do. And I've heard many of them say, well, I got here and I started doing all the wonderful things, but everybody's got their little group of friends. And it's not that they're clicky, they're friendly, but I haven't been able to truly make any friends, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So. You and know, it takes time. Is, yeah. It it takes time, it takes conversation and it takes it takes mutual effort. Exactly. You know, and uh and I so I think, you know, then the question is, and I think this is a topic for the next conversation, is are you willing to make the effort? Right. You know, and and to to either maintain the longtime friends that we have and and to make new friends and deepen the the, the relationships that we have. So, um, so we've decided that um, we're going to expand this into a four-part series and address some of those key questions. So if you've got comments, questions, um, solutions, and answer to the question, um, you know, do you think you can make good friends at our age? Um, we both are optimistic and think that you certainly can. And we would certainly love to sh have you share in the conversation. So please do so on our YouTube channel on our, um, uh, our website, hourglassworkshops.com, or send an email um, to either one of us. We'd love to right. hear from you. So until next time, I'm Cheryl. And I'm Nancy. Bye now. Bye.